Hi guys, it's Ash from Envy. In today's video, we're going to go through a step-by-step -step guide into fixing uh, any pond problem. Green water, string algae, blanket weed. We understand it can be quite overwhelming and we're hoping that this guide is going to help you figure out what problem you might have and then the steps that you need to follow to resolve it and hopefully prevent it in the future as well. Um, so yeah, just come with us to the pond and we'll, we'll have a look at it. The first one we'll get onto is the pond parameters. This is arguably one of the most important steps to follow, um, but a lot of people will tend to not do this, and it's often a reason as to why products that you use might not have as much impact as what you would have hoped. The pond parameters can be a little bit daunting, and if you're not familiar with them, um, the five key water parameters to monitor is the pH, the KH, GH, nitrites, and nitrates. So I'd say the main one out of them is to monitor is the pH. That essentially will give you a reading of how acidic to alkaline the pond is. Ideally you want the reading to be anywhere from around 7.5 to 8.5. We do have our own pond test strips. You want to just hold it in the water for probably only around a second or two and that should be that. And we're going to leave that to dry for a minute or so and then we can compare it to the back of the packet. Now, this next step really does depend on what the results come back from the uh, test that you've just done. We'll start with the first three, pH, KH, and GH. Now, depending on what these readings are, will depend on the next step. So if the pH, KH, or GH is out of the readings on here, then you'll need to do the next treatment for that, which happens to be pond equalizer. Now, pond equalizer will help buffer them three water parameters to be where they need to be essentially now it's important to do this before you treat for anything whether it's algae green water uh, even things like nitrates this doesn't have an, in, an impact on them directly but by buffering the three water parameters we're referring to will help um, in the long run in being able to maintain the problem as well if you don't do this then as we mentioned earlier it could be a reason as to why uh, you're not seeing the expected results. So if you've done the reading and the pH, KH and GH are all showing okay, then there are also two other readings on our test strips. So that's nitrites and nitrates. Now, if either one of these is out and does need some treatment, then there, we also have another product we'd recommend to use called Nitrate Clear. This is a tablet-based product and essentially the idea is the bacteria will help break down the nitrates that are in there and digest it. Completely safe for all fish, so you know it's perfect to use if you're having problems with either one of them, because um, nitrites break down to nitrates, so it's always handy to use that if you do have that problem. Now, if nitrates do get out of hand, um, they can become really deadly for fish, so it is something you really want to keep an eye on. We recommend to do these tests once a week, it takes a minute of your time. For the safety of the fish and any wildlife that are living in the pond, it's just very beneficial for them. So we're just going to move on to the next step now, which is treating for algae and blanket weed. Now, just before we do that, I do think it's important to just point out that if you have uh, any nitrate readings in the pond whatsoever, it's important to get this under control first before moving on to, to these treatments. The reason we say that is algae and blanket weed can absorb nitrates. So once you kill them, nitrates can be released back into the water. Um, if you do that whilst that, you know, the, the high nitrate levels are present, this is what can become deadly for fish. So it's just really important that you check that, make sure it's all under control first, and then move on to this type of product to, to obviously target blanket weed and the algae. If you are having problems with, with anything like string algae, uh, or any submerged algae, so that's anything underneath the surface of the water, that might attach to the sides of the pond, onto the pump, any plants, uh, anything whatsoever that's submerged, then you want to be using Algae Clear Extra. Now this comes in three different sizes. The 500ml will treat 10,000 litres, 20,000 litres on the one litre, 
And then you've got this one, which is five liters to treat 100,000 liters. So this product's been designed specifically to target and kill submerged string algae. Now it's completely safe for all fish and wildlife. So you don't need to worry about the fish's health with this. Um, and typically we'd expect you to see results within two to three weeks. So it's quite a strong treatment. So we're actually gonna show you a treatment of this now and how to do it. So this particular pond rat today does actually have uh, some string algae on the sides of the pond. Uh, you want to make sure you're using the pond water rather than tap water. Obviously just seen so not adding any chlorine and it's all staying within the pond. So for algae clear, you want to use uh, 50 milliliters of this per a thousand liters. Now this pond is three and a half thousand liters. So what I'm gonna do just to make sure I'm using enough is I'll probably use 200 mil, which is enough for 4,000 liters. Um, you're fine to use a little bit more than you know the recommended amount. So it's a really easy to use bottle. You just squeeze it with the cap off and this will fill the measuring cap up at the top. It goes up to about 30 milliliters all the way up to the top. So I will need a few of these. So now we've done that, um, I'm essentially just gonna pour it around the pond. And um, it's as easy as that. So we recommend to do that every seven days. You want to make sure you stick to that at least for the first two or three weeks uh, until all the algae is gone. Um, once it's all gone, you can stop using this, but you just keep a close eye on it. So if you're not having a problem with string algae, then there is another type of blanket weed and algae you might have, which is just the floating blanket weed. Um, some people say that when it takes over the whole pond, it can almost look like just a green carpet across the full pond. Now this is different to that and we don't recommend to use Algae Clear Extra for this. We've also designed another product for that called Blanket Weed Clear. This is a powder, um, really easy application. You do get a scoop inside of here. So you get the scoop and then you just sprinkle it on top of where the blanket weed is. If it's in the middle of the pond, obviously that can be a little bit trickier to get to. Anything around the outskirts of the pond, you apply it directly on top of that and it will kill it within 24 to 48 hours. You'll know it's gone dead when it's gone more of a brown color. Safe for all fish, wildlife, plants. The last thing to cover on this is if you have both types of submerged string algae along with floating blanket weed, you can use both of these products together um, in conjunction with one another. Now we do recommend to use the Algae Clear Extra first. Give it 24 hours, just to give it enough time to more circulate around the pond. Then I would use this. As long as it's been a day, you're fine to use them both together. So the next step is green water. Um, and you could argue it's probably the most common problem a pond owner will face. Now we've designed a product called Pond Clear which is designed specifically to target and clear green and murky water. This particular bottle is a one liter and it'll treat 20,000 liters. So for my particular pond, um, I would get between five to six treatments for it. We do also have a stronger product called Pond Clear Extra. The only difference between this one and Pond Clear is this one contains three times as much bacteria and making it a stronger treatment, better for larger ponds and essentially it'll just last you a lot longer. If you have algae, which was the previous step, and green water as well, then you can use Algae Clear Extra and Pond Clear or Pond Clear Extra together. As long as you leave it 24 hours between both, they do actually benefit one another because Pond Clear Extra or Pond Clear will target the amount of nutrients in the water. This nutrient is what feeds the string algae. So they all intertwine with one another and do benefit one another. So don't be afraid if you've got both types of problems to use both and it will help with, uh, you know, with the general health of the pond as well. So using a product like Pond Clear Extra or Pond Clear on a weekly basis will help maintain the water so it will keep it clear. You don't have to do this indefinitely if you didn't want to, albeit it is very beneficial to do so. Because if you don't use uh, like a bacteria-based treatment, you run the risk that the green water and the algae and so on will begin to return. Um, but by using a product like Pond Clear Extra Weekly, that will help maintain clear water. And it's obviously safe to keep using it weekly for, the, for your fish and, and wildlife as well. We hope you can get some use out of that. We understand this was quite a brief introduction to each one of them steps. Um, so if you do require more assistance along the way, 
um, feel free to uh, you know get in touch with us. Our contact details are on screen now. Um, it is important that you stick to that structure. Um, so if you do come across any problems, like I've said, give us a call, more than happy to help. Um, but yeah, in terms of this video, thank you for watching. Um, anything you can do to support the channel, so liking the video, subscribing, anything like that is, is really much appreciated and it, it helps us carry on um, you know, doing videos like this for you. So yeah, thanks for watching. Take care. Bye.